Shalom. All praise to the Most High. Yeho, Yehoshua, this is YYBY. Everybody already know about this, what I'm about to talk about, but I don't think people really explain exactly. I don't think they explain the right way. I think a lot of people don't under, really don't understand. They know about it, but they don't understand. So, Studio One came up with a crazy idea that I don't even think, damn it, I don't think no doll got this idea. So, I'm going to get straight to the point. You know me. I don't waste no time talking, running my mouth. So, everybody know you, in the, in the doll you have the audio side. This is where you change the sound card, you your block size, and then when you're recording vocals, you bring the block size down low. Then when you're mixing, you bring it up high. We all know about that, right? Okay, 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 cool. But when you are recording music with instruments or you're recording music with certain effects. Some people like reverbs on their tracks. Some people like reverb, you know, certain uh, effects on the input, even though you shouldn't put a, re a reverb. But when it comes to the input level, which is right here. Hold on, let me pull it up. When it comes to the input level, which is right here, sometimes you want certain plugins. That's how analog used to be. Like delays, not delays, I mean compressor, a little bit of compression, a little bit of reverb, not, I mean, not reverb, uh, EQ, and, you know, that's about it. Or mellow, you know, uh, what they call it, auto tune, right? Or, so you might want to have, you know, a bus, you know, a bu FX track like this right here, where you send to the vocals, you got different FX, whatever it is. So, your computer might not be powerful, and you run into CPU problems, okay? So, or you want to play instruments with the stuff you recorded, but the instruments take a lot of CPU power because you have the block size down low. Like, it's, it's crazy because some instruments take a lot of CPU power. So what they did, they came up with this idea called processing. So make a long story short, in a nutshell, audio side is what you're recording. Whatever you're recording, I don't give a damn if it's instruments, audio, or MIDI. The processing size is what is playing back During the time you're recording. So, this control that part. Because after everything is recorded, the processing size control this. So, therefore, you got different levels to it. You have to test what level is better for you. I, normally, it's medium, high, maximum. But, it'll let you know the latency of it. And it's called Enable Low Latency Monitoring for Instruments. And then you got an option called Use Native Low Latency. The native is the stock. Everything that's stock in Studio One. That's all it is. It's the stock stuff. And because you have a blue Z and a green Z. You know, the, the blue Z is normally for um, when you got physical equipment and stuff like that. You know, coming in and all that. Th that support that type of technology. So we're not going to talk about the Z's right now. But, you know, normally if you got a 64 DAW, use 64 bit. If you got a 64 DAW, I mean, not a not a DAW, I'm sorry. If you got, well, yeah, DAW and your computer. If your computer is 64, you know, uh, some, some computers are 32, some computers are 64, you know, time changing. Everything coming out now is sixty four. So use double sixty four, and you straight that that help you out help you out more. So this thing do miracles, man. Because the time that you I had to learn this 
Because before I didn't understand this, man, I didn't understand what the hell people was talking about, and they didn't explain it, you know, you know the way I understand things. I'm more direct. Um, they they talking around the corner and all that, you know, trying to be extra smart when they dumb as hell. So basically, what this do in a nutshell is that when you're recording vocals, instruments. This is what helped this with the delay. But everything that's playing after that's already on the sequencer, everything that's all on the sequencer that's being played back, the other option controls all that because let's be real. If this right here was real low, let's say like 64 samples, so you don't have no delay, or whatever your number is, you can control or play your music without delay in your keyboard. So if you play a music with this low, everything that you play back for as far as instruments, man, you gonna have to bounce everything. You look, man, if you drop a, a one of these third party plugins that take a lot of CPU, you're gonna have problems before you even get the chance to bounce it. That's what's going to happen. So I was having issues with Studio One and they understand certain parts like for, you know, this kept jumping up like crazy. But I had to really understand this, this, this right here. And also, you know, I was having a bug with something else, you know, because I already knew about this, but I didn't understand it completely because everybody wasn't explaining it right. So I had to read a lot and test it myself. So I get it. So. People, I don't even know a dog that's doing this. Uh, if you do, let me know. Right, jot it down at the bottom. Um, I forgot what they call this, but you got the auto device and you got the processing part. And when this is high, everything played back controls this. So, you, like we like we know, when the set block size is up higher, you are able to use more instruments. So, by me testing this out. From if I was just testing everything out from me having effects plus instruments, I was trying to make a beat and I was just dropping the instruments in. And you know, the instruments come with certain effects, sometimes they come with multi instruments, so on and so forth. And when I counted everything, when I had when I open when I open this up like this and show devices, see how you see right here. This is what I have on here right now while I'm recording, y'all. Because this is my one of my templates. This is my beat template. But when I added everything up, I had damn near a hundred effects. A hundred with effects and instruments together. I had about a hundred. And it was only shooting like about right here. Like 30, 30, 40 percent. I kid you not. And on top of that, based on how powerful your computer is. I'm able to play music with no delay around four, five, 12 samples. And I was testing this like around 192, 88 or 64 when I was testing that, you know, how it controlled, you know, my CPU far as the instruments I have, even though I don't really use a whole bunch of stuff to make something, but just in case you have to, you won't run into that problem. So the point what I'm saying is this, people. Test this out. Really understand it. And again, I'm going to tell you all again. The audio side is for when you're recording everything again. This side controls everything that's already on here in the sequence that's playing back. It controls everything. So these two, you want... You want to be checked. The reason why you don't see this highlighted right now because I'm using um uh, I'm using um what they call it this voice meter crap right now to record this video. So if you have any question, this is why why be why peace.